Well, last month, a Los Angeles jury found the company Takeda Pharmaceuticals liable for bladder cancer injuries, resulting in a verdict of $6.5 million. Attorney Jim Higgins with the Higgins Firm recently stopped by to tell us what happened. Jim, thanks for being here today. Sure. All right, let's talk about this case. This is another really, really sad case to hear about, but tell us what happened. Yeah, this case in involves the drug Actos. It's a type 2 diabetes drug, and there's been several thousand lawsuits filed that, that are pending that are now just getting to litigation. And, and the belief is, um, among some of the cases we have and that they're trying, is that it causes bladder cancer. Mm. Uh, Actos disagrees with that, but this was the first case to go to trial. And it was put ahead of the line because the gentleman that went to trial, he's a 79-year-old he's veteran, uh, like used to work for, I believe, the phone company, and he, and he has cancer, bladder cancer, and doesn't have long to live. So his case moved to the front of the line so he could have his day right. and, and see what happens. And the jury, after a couple month trial, and deliberating for eight days, uh, they believed his experts, they believed his testimony, and they awarded uh, $6.5 million uh, for really what's ultimately the loss of his life uh, wow. and believes that it's related to Actos, uh, right. the drug. They said he did take it for two years prior to his diagnosis and that it was related, right? Yes, yes, and that that's what the jury uh, uh, awarded him mm -hmm. and that's what they see. So it will be a big test on, we have several of these cases, there's several other thousand pending, and so whenever one of these comes up, it is a chance for everybody to kind of step back and say, okay, um, instead of trying 5,000 cases, can we resolve this? Can we stop putting everyone through this? Can do, is there time to amp up the warnings or remove it? And so this case will start that conversation more. Right. And you mentioned that your office does see cases like this. What mm -hmm. do you typically see happens throughout them? You know, I will tell you, it's, they are long, uh, difficult process. A lot of times, and I, you, you know, I'll get calls in, in, you know, after doing something like this and, or an interview on it, uh, from people who are simply taking the drug and I, and of course we always tell them there's no need uh, to panic a lot of times it people don't have any problems you something you can always talk to your doctor about make sure that they're okay with it make sure that you're okay with it you can see if there's alternatives that the doctor's comfortable with um, but it it if you do have one of the uh, if you develop bladder cancer from actos then you know there is a method there and we go through this litigation to try to to, to get some compensation, to take up for what you're going to lose in life, mm -hmm. what your family's going to lose in life, what it's put you through. Yeah, helping out a lot of families out there. Jim, thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. The Higgins Firm is serving Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-353-0930 or for more info, go to HigginsFirm.com. You can also get a link to that up on the Better Nashville section of WSMV.com.